Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Who and How Club. It is your boy, Aris Dejan, checking in once again. You know the slogan, you are the Who and How Club, I am the Who and How Club, and we are the Who's and How's of this world. Without you, without me, there is no we. So we might as well have fun while we're here, sit around the same table, pick each other's brains on certain topics. We share this common thing called life. We're just living it in uh, very unique and individually individual experiences. Um, but I'm sure we could find ways on how to relate to one another based on those perspectives and those experiences that we're, we're all going through throughout life, right? So let's sit around the table and share with one another because the opposite of that would just to be disconnected and be in our little tri- tribes and just, you know, move in units and stuff like that. But regardless, we're still all connected in some way, shape, or form. So we might as well just come together and just, uh, you know, speak. Whether you're a stranger, whether you're a close friend, or you're a club member, there's a space uh, on this platform for you to come and uh, talk with me. And so I can talk with you and share the do's and do nots of this world. We will learn that from one another Uh, and I think that's all those are all things that we need to know that we need to be aware of you know what I'm saying we could learn so much from one another if we just take the time to listen to communicate a lot of people think communication is just the verbal but it's also you know the listening is a part of communication as well sometimes we just have to take heed and listen while someone else is sharing their experiences even if it's a experience or perspective that you don't agree with whether you agree or not is is totally irrelevant to that that moment that you're sharing with another individual. It's just about sharing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It is Thursday, 7.30 a.m. I've been up since 6 a.m. I pray that you've been up that early as well because it's time to get the day started, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I pray that when you woke up this morning, you looked at yourself in the mirror and you said these words to yourself, the same words that I said to myself this morning. I am beautiful, I am ready, I am more than equipped, and I am grateful for everything that I have in this world. Look at how beautiful I am. Look at my face. Woo! Look how young I look. Look how ready I am. Look how well-rested I am and I look and feel. It's time to seize the day, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get up. Let's give them our energy. Let's show them what true power looks like we all got powers it's how we flex with them it's how we use them we got to embrace them never shun your powers never suppress them for anything or anyone it's time to show your powers to the world that's why we're up this early this is just one of my powers this skill to just speak with all of you and to create this platform so that we could have very strong debates healthy debates you know, in conversations of depth with strangers, the who's and how's of this world, right? In fact, I've been having so many conversations as of late. My head is kind of jam packed right now. I need to take a break because I've been, I've been, uh, um, sort of not internalizing, but my brain has been fed so much that I need time to myself to sort of unwind and unpack the things that I that have been fed to my brain and my head. I've been having so many um, beautiful conversations with individuals in the past couple weeks. And um, that's not all because of me. I want to shout out my team, the, uh, the Quiet Council, TQC. Shout out to Bryce, Carlos, uh, Paula, and Dave. Um, without my management agency, I probably wouldn't have had to, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to have these, so the, these incredibly dope and deep conversations that I've had in the past few weeks. In fact, about two to three weeks now, um, I've been sitting down, I've been a guest on other people's, uh, shows and I've had some guests on my show. Um, And I'm really excited for all of you to get an opportunity to um, indulge in some really dope and deep content. I have so much content in my pocket at the moment. I don't know what to do with it. 
And uh, I took a little time to go and execute these little, uh, I call them bank jobs, you know, when me and the team show up, we're in and we're out, you know, we're in and we're out. We make sure that our presence is felt. We share, there's an exchange and we get out and we move on to the next one because, uh, you know, just being involved and touching the people is really important to, to me and the movement. Uh, and the and the management agency that I've acquired recently. You know, we want to just speak with people. We want to sit down, similar to what the Who and How Club represents. It, it is what it represents, you know, just sitting down. Sitting down and taking a moment and getting to know oneself, but also the person sitting across from you or the people sitting across from you in such an organic uh, format. You know what I mean? Conversation. The sharing, you know, the exchange of words, you know, there's there's an art to it. And that's an art in itself, communicating and picking each other's brains. So um, shout out to the Quiet Council once again. Uh, If you haven't heard yet, the Who and How Club is managed by the Quiet Council, the Quiet Council, um, which is a uh, creative management agency. They take care of bookings and production uh, when it comes to podcasting, music, all of that. I am their first client. So. You know, they got their hands full because everybody know if you know, you know, um, Eris is not just a podcaster. Eris is just not Eris. There's a lot that comes with this. And uh, I could already tell by the way we're moving, we're about to take over. So shout out to them, especially Carlos, who is uh, our creative director and head of booking. Uh, He's been killing it. And we're just planning things and just, you know, moving in silence. Um, doing things in the quiet way. You'll see. You'll 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 see what we're doing. You don't have to hear about it. You know what I mean. You'll see it. What I do want to do right now is send a special shout out to those shows that had me as a guest, uh, had me on as a guest. Sorry, because uh, you know those experiences. I do not take them for granted whatsoever. I've learned so much in the past few weeks just appearing on those shows. Um, so there are a couple shows that I want to shout out. I made an appearance on, um, conversation on the conversations for days podcast with Khalilo and Frankie. I want you to, sh- to look them up. Uh, they're Ottawa's number one podcast. Uh, and I do believe it. I see why, um, they had me on the show and, uh, it was a really great conversation amongst men, amongst kinks. Um, and there was some real healthy debating going on there. We were able to survive and come out of that, that deep conversation unscathed, you know, no one clash cl- clapped at each other or nothing like that, but views were challenged and, um, you know, we focused on positive thinking versus negative thinking, positive talk versus negative talk. And and our definitions of that. There was another guest uh, on the show as well. I won't give too much away. Go look for that episode. Um, you'll you'll definitely learn something. I I know even just listening back to it, I learned even more than what I learned. Uh, you know, in the moment that I was I was on the actual show. You know, sometimes when you're um drenched drenched with with whatever you have like the thing that you're a part of and you're you're sort of present in you don't realize how much you're learning and the information that you're taking in and what you could actually take away from it because you're so involved but i got a chance to kind of step away and listen back to the episode i listened to it like a few times and i learned something new every uh every time each time that i listened again so uh, look, con- look up Conversations for Days podcast with Khalilo and Frankie. I want to shout out, shout them out because uh, that was a dope episode. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for having me. Another show that I was on, I was on the Faithful Film Fanatic uh, podcast with Terry. Terry's the host. He's a unique individual, and he reached out to me. And um, yeah, we we uh, his podcast kind of focuses on. Um, Picking movies apart and not necessarily rating them, but just dissecting them. You know what I mean? And on our episode, we focused on a movie that means so much to me. Um, We're probably going to be doing a part two very soon. We didn't get to dive too deep into um, 
into everything that we wanted at the time. Uh, the episode was also focused on who I am and him and I just had an organic conversation and we picked each other's brains on on everything. And, uh, you know, life perspectives, challenges, life challenges, faith um, and our beliefs and, you know, uh, what who we were raised by, like stuff like that. You know what I mean? So the movie the, the movie review is sort of like one aspect to the show but we really got into this in-depth conversation and uh, i had fun um but the the show the the conversation was going on for so long that i we had to kind of cut it short uh but a part 2 is coming ladies and gentlemen so keep a lookout for that but look up the faithful film fanatic podcast with terry um you could find these individuals on my uh instagram by the way if you'd like and follow them but stay connected with these episodes that I've been a guest on because uh, they are out right now. And uh, I think you all will enjoy uh, these shows, not only these shows, but also the content that was created uh, revolving around your boy, Eris Dejan. Uh Another show that I made an appearance on uh, was the Activated podcast with Ibu, Mr. Activated himself. Uh, we were in his studio uh recently and when i say we i mean uh not only me myself and i but also the team the whole collective was was present uh in ibu studio and this 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 conversation that i had it, it i can't even describe it but it was really really great it was really great it was a conversation of curiosity um as a person as a creative you know whenever i'm in relationships even i don't really like to be questioned but any any show that I was on, like the the ones that I just mentioned, you know, I never felt like people were asking me questions just to ask. There was genuine curiosity in each show that I made an appearance on, especially the Activated Podcast. Um, I like I, I I like Ibu's energy and um, his um, he was genuine. You know, is genuineness a word? Genuinity? What's what's the word? Hold on. <laughs> all right all right so genuineness genuineness is the word not genuinity i don't know why actually when i look it up it says according to the dictionary genuineness means something that is authentic or the quality of truly being what something is said to be while genuinity comes with no solid search results there is no such word as genuinity in bold bolded letters uh genuineness the quality of truly being what something is said to be authenticity uh, but honestly ladies and gentlemen like there are new words being created every day um you know like editable something being editable meaning you can edit it is a word but that's a new word a many 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 words that we're creating on a day-to-day -day basis especially when they derive from like some sort of slang are actually ending up in the in the dictionary nowadays. So I wouldn't be surprised if uh, genuinity uh, becomes some sort of word. But yay, uh, there's nothing more complicated than the English language, as they say. Most of it derives from Latin anyway. So, you know, I'm sure we, we could create any kind of word. Words exist because we allow them to. Um, I like the sound of genuinity, but okay. Anyways, Ibu had this genuineness. <laughs> He, the genuineness and, um, like I said, the curiosity, uh, you know, that that's what you have to have as a host, especially when sitting across from somebody that you don't really know. You might have done some research on them. You might have read a bio. But, you know, when you're sitting across someone you don't know, you got to let that thing flow. You got to be genuinely curious. Um, and that's the vibe that I got from Ibu and uh the environment he kind of created for me to feel welcome and feel comfortable. Um, I did wish that the conversation went a bit longer, but I am excited. I'm sure, you know, we'll be connecting very soon. That episode should be out very soon. It's not out yet. Actually, it could be out tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, tomorrow being Friday, July 16th. Either way, we're going to be posting these episodes on our platform so the club members get a listen. But I want to do some cross-promotion and, and build uh, uh, bridge building 
uh, amongst the shows that I make an appearance on and uh, the people that I'm collaborating with, you know, Mikasa Sukasa. So, you know, I make a I, I make a guest appearance on your show. We're going to take that episode. We're going to post it on our platform so that uh, our listeners get familiar with yours and vice versa. It's all great to to repost something that's already out in the ether. But why don't we double it down and and put more content out there revolving around the same the same content and the same uh, structure and uh, themes and topics and stuff like that, you know? One episode of, of a guest appearance is great, but why not two or three uh, of the same one so that uh, di- people in different pockets are receiving that uh, that information and that uh, that art, that creativity, right? Once again, shout out to Ibu. That's the Activated Podcast. Look him up, Mr. Activated. Uh, I think it's Mr. Underscore Activated, if I'm not mistaken. But you can find him. We've tagged him. We're going to be tagging him. Like, follow these folks, man. I wouldn't have made an appearance on their shows if I didn't feel that uh, there was something to to uh, offer the world. And by the world and the club, I mean you all listening and tuning in to me today. You know, substance is the key. Uh, challenging people's thoughts and your own thoughts is the key. Having healthy debates and being able to come out of those debates not feeling like you lost or that you needed to prove a point is the goal. Um, You got to be able to do this throughout life. You're going to be environments with people that you just don't agree with, that you might, you know, that they they won't agree with you, but you got to hold your own and you got to see the bigger picture. It's just the it's just the sharing of information, ladies and gentlemen. Let's feed each other's brains, right? Um, now, aside from the guest spots, I had a few special guests on the show that we recently uh, recorded and shot. Um, I want to shout out uh, Big Tweezy. He's one of these uh, these hip hop pioneers in Toronto. Um, you know, he, he has a perspective like no other, but he comes with that. He has a new school perspective, but he also has an old old school perspective as well because he was there. He was there during uh, certain key moments in, uh, in in hip-hop history when it comes in, you know, Toronto hip-hop history and stuff like that. And, um, you know, him and I met years and years ago and uh, to see his transition and who he is today, like especially as a father and as a husband, uh, the conversation that I had with Big Tweezy will always be ingrained and and sort of etched in my brain in a little corner in the back, uh, you know, with the things that we said. And he, he kind of taught me that day in our conversation. Um, um, so, yeah, the things that we spoke about on his episode, it's really really informative, really inspiring. So I'm excited for all of you to hear that. That'll be next week's episode, episode 53 of the Who and How Club. So shout out to Big Tweezy. Thank you for being on the show, brother. Um, that episode and those visuals visuals will be dropping next week. Um, I also had the ladies from No Shame Babe uh, on the show. They're from Edmonton, Alberta. So it was kind of like my first show doing uh doing my first show or or episode where like there was a difference in time zones. Um but I really want to shout out Jamie and Kirsten from the No Shame Babe podcast. These were fellow podcasters that I had on the show and they're the first the first fellow podcasters that I had on the Who and How Club as guests and uh and the first uh female led podcast. Uh team as well so it it, this episode meant meant a lot to me it it meant so much to me i don't want to even talk about it i want you all to just listen uh it was a beautiful conversation that i had with these ladies and uh, i learned so much about them i know they learned a lot about me and i feel like i'm one of the the babes now you know i'm a part of their tribe um i wish we lived in the same city but i know that we're going to be planning some stuff to sort of connect uh, in the upcoming months. Um, so shout out to Jamie and Kirsten from the no shame, babe podcast. Look up their show. Um, you'll be able to hear our episode in a few weeks as well. Um, beautiful episode. I couldn't say that. Uh, I couldn't say that more. Like it was just, it was, it was beauty, beauty at its, at its core, uh, in the conversation that I had with them. So yeah. 
Um, what else? Oh, oh, this week we shot we shot uh, a new episode with a uh, a creative, a creator, a director, a person with a vision, a person with a perspective, and and he expresses himself through you know through the that camera lens. Uh, Mr. Mike Regis was on uh, this week, and we shot a really really dope episode. Um, the conversation was dope. Uh, and deep as well. We covered things on like our beliefs and perspectives on believing in oneself and what art means to us and, you know, our purpose in life. And I think it was a really, really great conversation. The whole team was there and um, our initial plan to kind of like shoot the episode in an environment that we had set up in and had planned for for weeks on weeks it just didn't work out so we improvised as a team this is why i love my team and this is why i appreciate mike regis because that day he just ran with whatever whatever we needed to to sort of reconfigure in order to make that episode happen he was he was down no complaining no 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 you know like hey i'm running out of time or anything like that he was just rolling with us because in in moments as creatives no in moments of of planning and setting things up you're going to run into things like technical difficulties you might have to change your environment on the fly and you got to be a quick thinker you got to find a solution don't focus on the negative side or or you know the angst like you know like I know what you feel. I felt it a few days ago, but I just, I stood in my little corner. I looked up and I said, all right, I got an idea. Let's go outside. Let's go outside. And and lo and behold, you know, you would think going outside wouldn't work at all. You know, shooting this episode, recording outside, we're going to run into even more difficulties. But in fact, it was effortless. It was seem, it was, it was seamless. Like we, we found a plot, we found a, a, a little spot. We found an outlet. And we shot and we recorded and it looks so beautiful on camera and and the conversation, I think, came out better than it would have in in the original space or the initial space that we had uh, set up in. And Mike Regis never complained once. He was just he ran with it. He understood that, you know, these these difficulties happen. And it was still great to get some great content out of that combo. And I know that it won't be the first time Mike uh, comes on uh, the Who and How Club. So keep a lookout for that show. Uh, I'm mixing my words today. I feel a bit nervous today. I don't know why. I, I feel so comfortable. I feel at home. I miss all of you, but uh, I feel a bit nervous as well. I don't know. I just, um, my words are like, my brain is a bit scattered, but I'm excited to introduce what uh, what I got coming up. I got these guest episodes. I got these guest spot episodes that are going to be released and you all will be listening in. Um, I think the mixing of my words and like the nervousness is is, it's it's a good thing. Like when you start feeling nervous and shy, that means like you're bored or that, you know, you're you're kind of not you're not feeling it. You're not you're not in the zone. But the more nervous I feel, I realize that I, fi- I, I dig deeper and I find the passion. I, I realize how much I love what I do. You know what I mean? And it makes me nervous every time because I want to deliver something great uh, to all of you. And I, wanna, I hope that you all understand me when I speak because uh, I get, uh, especially in the morning episode, these early morning episodes, my brain is like all over the place and I'm looking at the clock and I'm, I'm thinking about what my day is going to look like while speaking with you and you know, I, I want you to be I want to keep you engaged and I want you to understand like these episodes that I'm speaking about, the ones that I were that I was a guest on and the the, the guest episodes that I have for this platform. Like they're so dope. They're, they're just so dope. And I don't think I could put how dope they are into words. I need you to just go and listen. So uh, every show that I mentioned. um earlier on in the episode just go go look them up and go indulge because it's time to build bridges especially with my fellow podcasters and that's something that you're gonna see uh very soon like more of um with me showing up and popping up with the more stuff that i'm creating right now uh whether it's music or uh you know just expanding the who and how platform and brand you're gonna see more of me and more of these conversations so so stay connected 
just like I'm doing with these individuals that I'm uh, that mean a lot to me. You know, me being a guest on someone's show isn't just that. I don't feel so special, you know, like I'm the, the I'm the guest. No, this is like a, a an environment that we're supposed to be in together and we're sharing with one another. So everyone's everyone's getting that value and feeling valued. You know what I'm saying? By each other's presence. So just look those shows up, ladies and gentlemen. Keep a lookout for some new episodes coming. And that's about it. Quickly, uh, something else that I have coming up. Now, you know I'm big on doing these little mini series. Series? I'm big on doing these little mini series. Series? Uh, on the Who and How Club. Uh, you know, last year we did a little mini series on a, uh, a theme and a topic. Uh, where I was sort of guiding you on how to make room for new. So we did a four-part series called Make Room for New. Uh, I would definitely suggest you uh, go back and listen to that series, especially if you're feeling like you're feeling a bit congested in your life, if you're looking to free yourself from certain things that you feel have been holding you back or keeping you tied down or you feel stifled by something, you're kind of lost right now. You're, you've, you've reached a point where there's just a brick wall in front of you and you have nowhere to go. Go and listen to the Make Room for New series, uh, mini series that I did uh, on the Who and How Club uh, platform. That was sometime last year. This year, we did another series called Spotlights, uh, which focused um, on leaders of the community, the community that I'm from. We did it in Black History Month back in February, and we had some really dope individuals on. So that was our Spotlights uh, mini series. Um, go and look that up and shout out to the gentleman who uh, par- um, participated in that series because my goal, again, this was like Carlos's idea from, from TQC, you know, like shedding light on individuals um, that have done really great things in our community and that have a, a really deep perspective on what it means to be black and supporting our black community and how we can uplift it and uh, continue to do great work within the community. Um, That series means a lot to me, and I hold that series uh, dear, uh, dear to my soul. So I would say go back and listen to that, but I'm about to introduce a new mini-series that I think, uh, you know, revolves around a topic that we all have struggled with throughout our lives. And uh, we're going to break things down, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to really, really dissect Um, this topic and this concept, this concept of forgiveness. I don't know about you, but I've struggled with forgiveness my entire life. Not only uh, with the forgiveness or having to forgive other folks, but also forgiving myself, right? So in the upcoming weeks, we're going to do a four-part series that focuses on the concept of forgiveness. Forgiveness is coming, ladies and gentlemen. It's time. It's time for us to forgive. But we got to figure out what forgiveness really means, not only to us, but to the world. How do people forgive? Who created forgiveness? Let's dissect the actual definition of forgiveness, the Google and textbook definition. I'm going to share my struggles with forgiveness as well, plus much, much more. We're going to dissect this concept together, all right? But based on the conversations that I've been having, not only with individuals, but also with my therapist, and I, sorry, not not like, I mean like singular individuals, whether they're people on my team, uh, people that I've been on shows with or been on my show, you know, or just conversations with myself and the higher ups um, and my therapist. <laughs> Uh, forgiveness has been a common theme in the past like month, month and change. You know what I'm saying? And I've had some struggles. Um, I'll delve into those struggles in the upcoming weeks, but we're going to talk about this because it's important. It's, it's important for us to, to figure out what this looks like for us, because I think freedom, uh, with forgiveness, you can find freedom. So, you know, this theme has been has been making itself known and present in my life recently. And I don't want to go without sharing this experience with all of you. So, you know, forgiveness is is coming. I could feel it. True freedom. Understanding. 
all of that. Forgiveness is coming, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to delve into this topic in the upcoming weeks. In the meantime, I want you to think of someone that you know that you need to forgive or that you've always wanted to forgive. Now, don't forgive them just yet. I don't want you to forgive. We got to talk about forgiveness. We got to think about what forgiveness, you know, will actually look like if we did forgive that individual. Now, this individual could be a mother, a friend, a father, an ex, an ex-partner. An ex-friend that you had in your life that no longer exists in your life. You wish that they did, but you've had to remove yourself from them. But you've still been holding on to things, and it's like you're still attached to that to that individual, right? Because you haven't forgiven them. You haven't even forgiven yourself for not forgiving them. You know, we're going to dive into concepts like that. So think of that person from now until the next time that you and I speak and share and this series starts, okay? Remember, don't forgive them. Just just think about them. I want you to conjure them up in your in your brain. Um get involved. Get involved with 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 those feelings that you've had towards that individual. The thoughts, the regret, the resentment. I want you to conjure all of them up because we're going to talk about it and we're going to release and let go on this platform together. So think of the freedom like I said that you might feel if the day ever came that you did forgive them. Uh, and if you choose to, no one's saying you have to forgive. But I think you'll find some freedom in forgiveness. Uh, but we just have to understand forgiveness just a bit more and understand what that'll look like for us individually. All right. So just think about your life and if you would feel any different if you did forgive them. All right. You're going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to collect some information and data and all that jazz. And I'm going to come back to you in the next uh, few weeks. And we're going to start part one of our uh, Welcome to Forgiveness series. All right. I'm about to check out. Listen to this episode. Listen back so you could get the names of those podcasts that I mentioned earlier on in the episode. Go listen to my guest spots. Keep a lookout for the Welcome to Forgiveness uh, series coming in the few uh, coming up in the up in, coming in the upcoming weeks. God damn! Um, and uh, look out for my guest episodes coming up with Big Tweezy, the No Shame Babes from the No Shame Babe podcast, as well as Mike Regis. Um, other than that, um, today was great. Thank you for joining. Thank you for listening. I appreciate all of you. I got Apollo in the background. We're going to go for a jog while this shit um, renders. And I'm going to upload it. And hopefully uh, you all get something from today's episode. I love you all. I appreciate you all. Thank you for the ongoing support. Uh, Just be safe throughout your days, all right? Believe in yourself. Don't forget. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. You've been listening to the Who and How Club, episode 52. It's your boy, Aris Dejan. Uh, I'll check in within a week, all right? One.